Hi everyone, welcome to our video on machine safety, control measures for reducing risks from machinery hazards. In any workplace, the use of machinery presents a significant risk to workers, making it crucial to implement proper control measures. Machinery accidents can result in severe injuries or even fatalities, which is why it's crucial to implement proper safeguarding methods to protect workers. Machinery safeguarding methods are essential to protect workers from hazards associated with operating machinery. These methods involve the use of various techniques, technologies, and devices to minimize or eliminate the risk of accidents or injuries when operating machinery. Here are some common machinery safeguarding methods. 1. Physical barriers. 2. Interlocking devices. 3. Sensitive protective equipment devices. 4. Two-hand controls. 5. Hold-to-run control. 6. Protective appliances. 7. Lockout, tag-out, LOTO. 8. Emergency stop button. 9. Personal protective equipment PPE. 10. Training and education. Let us understand the various machinery safeguarding methods in details. Physical barriers. Physical barriers, such as guards and fences, are used to prevent workers from coming into contact with hazardous parts of machinery. Guards can be fixed, interlocked, or adjustable, depending on the machinery's requirements. Interlocking devices. Interlocking devices is a protective device that ensure that machinery does not operate unless specific conditions are met, such as a guard being in place. They are an important safety measure in machine safety to reduce the risk of accidents and injuries. For example, a microwave oven has a hinged door on the front to allow easy access which is interlocked so that power to the microwave generator is shut off when it is open. Sensitive protective equipment devices. Sensing devices, such as light curtains, laser scanners, and pressure-sensitive mats, can detect the presence of a worker in a hazardous area and stop the machinery's operation. Two-hand controls. These are a way of protecting the machine operator's hands where operation of the machine can only be achieved when two start buttons are pressed at the same time. For example, two hand controls on a click press. The operator is at risk of crushing injury if the press operates when their hand is between the top and bottom plates. Hold to run controls. Hold to run controls require the operator to hold a control at all times while the equipment or machine is in operation. Releasing the control will disconnect power from the machine and it will cease to function. Protective appliances. Protective appliances are pieces of equipment that allow an operator to keep their hands away from dangerous parts. They include clamps, jigs and push sticks. Lockout tagout. Lockout tagout procedures involve locking out machinery's power source and affixing a warning tag to prevent accidental startup during maintenance or repair activities. Emergency stop buttons. Emergency stop buttons allow workers to quickly shut down machinery in the event of an emergency. Safety signs and boards. Safety signs and boards play a crucial role in machine safety by providing visual cues and warnings to workers about the potential hazards and risks associated with the machinery. By following the safety signs and boards, workers can better protect themselves from harm and prevent accidents. Personal Protective Equipment, PPE. Personal Protective Equipment, PPE, such as gloves, goggles, and hard hats, can protect workers from hazards associated with machinery. However, personal protective equipment, PPE, should not be relied on as the primary method of safeguarding machinery. Training and Education Proper training and education can help workers understand the risks associated with operating machinery and how to operate machinery safely. In conclusion, Implementing effective control measures for reducing risks from machinery hazards is critical to ensuring the safety and well-being of workers. By prioritizing safety and following proper protocols, we can prevent accidents and create a safer workplace for everyone. Thank you.